explosive alarm clocks is that you have to buy seven every week. Ah, 5.30 in the morning. Best time of the day. Wake up, Nasha. We all miss the fun. Meet my banana shoot. The colonel should be out any minute. <laughs> Legs at the ready. Must beat my personal best jogging time. Your mission is to help the Colonel beat his personal best jogging time. Good luck. Ready, steady, go. Up, two, three, four, over. Two, three, four. Legs at the ready, go. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. We interrupt the early morning cartoon to bring you an important news flash. Genghis Kong has escaped from the circus. If you should see him, then... Please shout, help! Help! A gorilla is chasing me! That is the end of the news flash. Assume crash position! I've been bananaed. changed his mind and went for a swim instead. <laughs> oh, I thought as much, Dennis! Uh-oh, let's jog! <laughs> seems to go a long way, but I've got two more just in case. Race you home, Nasha! <laughs> Why can't you do anything? Because... It is not yet illegal to be ten years old. So, Dennis gets away with it again. I refuse to be made a banana of. Mm. Youngsters don't know the meaning of discipline. But it's about time they did. And I'm just the man to teach them. It'll all end in tears. Mark my words. Roll up! Roll up for my special Outward Bound weekend! Sign here for log fires, not tying, and living in tents. Dan Thupa, are you asking me to spend the weekend in a field instead of a comfy house? Hmm. You'll get a medal and all the comics you can read. Free comics? <laughs> But shouldn't you ask Dennis first, Dad? He has no choice in the matter, Mum. 
I am signing him up for the full Outward Bound weekend. Outward Bound? With the Colonel? No, thanks. <laughs> Four recruits so far. See you tomorrow morning. Thank you, Colonel. Just Dennis to get now. I'd like to sign Dennis up for your Outward Bound weekend. You couldn't make it a month, could you? One weekend is all that it takes. I'll make a man of him. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, yes. Dennis will learn to take orders. Huh? He will never be the same again. Where do I sign? Where do I sign? Well, Nasher, what do you think? Heads we go, tails we don't. <laughs> Tells it is then, we don't go. At least, not with the Colonel. <laughs> Instead, we'll go on our own camping weekend. <laughs> with no rules and no Colonel! Now, where did I put my bananas? Today's the day. The Outward Bound Weekend begins. Ah, the front door. The tiny kitty people are early. This weekend is the biggest mistake of my life, Matilda. Oh, don't be such a thourputh, Walter. Would you like some of my protection cream, Walter? What does it protect you against? Uh, life. Good morning, Outward Bounders. All present and correct? All except Dennis, Colonel. What? Dennis missing? But he's the one I wanted most of all. He's a deserter. A cowardly custard of the First Order. We shall leave without him. Oh, good. Wilderness, here we come. Ah, uh, all packed, I see, Dennis. Yep, it's the outdoor life for us, eh, Nasha? Well, you better hurry. The Colonel's leaving. We're not going with the Colonel. Oh, Dennis, you can't go out camping on your own. It's too dangerous. Don't worry, Mum. I am going with a grown-up. Who'd be insane enough to go camping with you for a weekend? Oh! oh. oh no! <laughs> On the bike! <laughs> oh, can we stop for a rest now, Colonel? Pull yourself together, man. We've only made it as far as the street. The wilderness is that away. Last. Yes. Dennis away in the woods for two whole days. Ah, just you and me. Hmm. And the stars. And the telly. Oh. Here is a newsflash. If you have children, then whatever you do, don't send them into the woods! There's a gorilla on the loose! A massive one! He's escaped from Mr. Tagliatelli's circus! I'm scared that he do something crazy! Genghis Kong! He's the strongest gorilla in the world! He's a crazy! Dad! What'll we do? Warn the gorilla? 
that Dennis is on the loose. Hmm. Yes. Dear Diary. No, oh, no, no, no. Altogether too soppy. No, got it. Good morning, Diary. No, 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 no. It's too chatty. Rubbish. Yeah, got it. Day one. Yes, good start, good start. The day began badly. We got completely lost. <laughs> Can't understand what went wrong. The place is very well signposted. Uh, this way. <laughs> Always leave the countryside as you found it, Nasha. <laughs> I have a feeling we may be in China. It is now evening and we are pitching camp. Stand back, Walter, dearest. Granny? Beach me, Dennis! Why don't you and Nasha go check it out? I'll get tea ready! Come on, Nasha. Let's go explore. Nasha. Hello! Pizza delivery! Three big ones with everything on top! Third field out of town! And keep them hot! There's nothing like the outdoor life. <laughs> oh, camping isn't so bad after all. You see, I told you it'd be fun. There's absolutely nothing to be scared of. <laughs> I think it's full of air, like one of those bouncy castles. What do you think, Nasha? <laughs> well, we'll soon find out if it's full of air or not. I'm sure he won't harm us, as long as we don't harm him. Oh, I won't harm him. How about you, Nasha? Just show me who did it, and I'll... 
Nasher is a baby gorilla. Well, that's it then. You'll never get Nasher back. <coughs> he will spend the rest of his life as a gorilla. Not if I can help it. Well, Dennis, King of the Jungle. That's a close one. <laughs> You've upset him, Nob. Serves him right. No one turns Nasher into a gorilla. <laughs> he seemed very upset. I'd hate to be the next person he meets. <gasps> Granny! I left Granny alone in the woods. What? Your granny? How could you leave that tender flower alone in the woods? Granny? Tender flower? I must rescue the fair damsel in distress at once. Guess we better follow. Sounds good. You've got all the pistons firing just right. Take a break and have some pizza. I ordered you banana flavor. <laughs> Take that and that yep. and that as well. Yeah. Uh, right? At ease, men. Stand aside, Colonel. This is a job for Nasha. <laughs> Dear Diary, Dennis's granny has ended my life again today. If I hadn't left to join the army, then who knows? Come on, Colonel! What? Uh, yes! Right you are! <laughs> Ooh. Best of three! Okay! <laughs> no cheating, and the winner takes the last slice of pizza! Ah! It's the circus owner come to get you! <laughs> Aha! Never trust a granny! <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Okay, big boy, one more time! Oh! Godfrey! Unhand that woman, you... you... gorilla! Leave her alone, I say! <laughs> oh, Stop being such a hero, Godfrey! <laughs> <laughs> but, well, I thought... I thought... I know, and a nice thought it was too, dearie. <laughs> What's he going on about, Nasha? <laughs> oh, he's fed up with the circus and wants to go home to his family in the rainforest. <laughs> Poor chap was probably captured. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll sort it out before you can say... Bananas? Bananas? A bill for ten kilos of bananas! What are you talking about, Dad? Not only that, but I've been billed for sending them in a crate to the rainforest! Why did you do that then, Dad? I didn't! 
Oh, a postcard for you, Dennis. I don't understand it. I don't even know anyone in the rainforest. <laughs> like an ordinary house in Beano Town, but your research shows it's sitting on the richest oil deposit in the country. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're gonna buy the place up and make me a fortune. The house belongs to a family unit, sir. Just a bunch of little people. There'll be no match for the slickest oil company in the business. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Let's hope the green and friendly pressure group don't beat us this time, eh, sir? Huh? Uh, 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 they won't! They won't! Uh, I said they won't! The green and friendly pressure group can do nothing. There are no cabbage-friendly snails to save this time. Just a little house and little people. Do you know what we're going to do with them? Uh, no. Throw them in the trash! Dennis! You need a bath! You haven't had one for ages. But, Mum, I'm holding a garage sale of all my old stuff. Pie Face is waiting outside. Well, you'd better have a bath pronto, then. Oh. It'll do you good. If water does you good, then why do people carry umbrellas? Ah! There's a spider in the bath! We'll save your mum! Quick, Nasha! <coughs> Never underestimate your mum. Please! Oh, mum! There's a good boy. I've always wanted to live in this area, and your house is so beautifully positioned. Yes, well, we like it. And so quiet, too. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> That's our son having a bath. He's very keen on cleanliness. Yes. <laughs> Yuck! You call that coffee? Queen Nasha, save your fleas! <laughs> oh, yuck! What dirty water! That's the last time I bath with you! Uh, so, how much do you want for it? Uh, for what? For the house, of course! Oh, I see. But I'm afraid it's not for sale. Want a bargain, eh? I like that in a man. I'll offer you five times its value divided by ten, and that's my sneakiest offer. Or are you just a lodger? I paid for this house fair and square, and here's the deed of ownership to prove it. Oh, yeah? Um, oh, 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 uh, well. <laughs> well, sorry to have troubled you. Good day. So much for the direct approach. What a strange old lady. She wanted to buy our house. Well... I hope you told her it's not for sale. It's our home. Of course I did, Mum. And I have a certificate to prove it, which I'll hang on one of our many walls. Now, at last we can join Pipe Base for our toy sale. Whoa! <laughs> God, two baths in one day? Without this certificate, Dennis, you'd have no house to bath in. Think yourself lucky. There. 
That should dry it out. Shall I return your wife's wig and coat to the wardrobe, sir? Why bother? She's got hundreds of each, and they're all the same. Time to get sneaky. I love it when they're stupid. Give me your glasses. <laughs> what kept you, then? Oh, don't ask. Keep an eye on the stall, Pie Face. I'll be down in a minute with some more stuff. OK, then. You can trust me. Hello, little boy. Huh? Hello, big person. Impressive display and so wet. Yeah, <laughs> that was Dennis's idea. Do you have any old certificates propped up to dry by a window? Like that one? Uh... Wow! It's your lucky day. We've got one left. <laughs> right. This is the last lot. Let's hope Pipeface has managed to sell something. Nice. Mission completed. Activate Operation Oil Strike. Done any business, Pie Face? Not often. I swapped a bit of old paper for this. An old lady's wig? What bit of old paper? Uh, it was stuck on the windowsill over there. <gasps> You've sold our house for an old lady's wig? Oh, come on, Den. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. I got a coat and gloves as well. Oh. Oh. It's all right. He said his wife had hundreds of them. What's going on? Oh. Oh. I just bought myself an oil field. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. It's all legal. Big laugh, guys! <laughs> How did he buy my certificate? How did we lose our house? Uh, how we lost the house isn't important, Dad. <laughs> what is important is how we get it back. Oh, don't worry, Dad. Behind every cloud, there's a silver lining. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. no. <laughs> emergency bedroom, now ready for emergency people. Follow me. Oh, that's us. Find the two wires! <laughs> no harm done. Just a smoke canister. Stops burglars making a mess of the place, don't you know? Follow me! What? <laughs> Follow my boys! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One spare bedroom! Indoor tents? And here's a recent photocopy of a log fire. Ooh, it's still warm. Need anything else? Just make an owl call. Tents? To wit, to woo. Thanks for everything. My pleasure, ma'am. Oh. Looks like he's moving all his henchmen into our house. Thank you, sir. You, leave the yes man under the window. How's that? That's fine. Oh, yes, yes, sir. 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 How good is the oil? Mm, can't tell yet, sir. It's too thick to get under the microscope. 
That's great. The thicker, the better. Ha! Well, at least we have a roof over our heads. Yeah, we're under attack. It's coming from over here. What's going on? My favorite CD! Military explosions! All-time greatest hits and misses! So soothing! <laughs> Sleep well! Boom! Bam! Bam! Wait for it. Nasha, but tomorrow we're going home. <laughs> Hold still, Nasha. This disguise cost us our house. Let's see if it helps us get our own back on Katzenberger oil. <sighs> Morning. Go away. How dare you? I am Mr. Clint Katzenberger's wife. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, madam. Um, I'd better go away. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Katzenberger, what an honor. Eh? How did you know? Oh, I'd recognize that fine coat and wig anywhere. Oh, uh, did I say wig? Oh, oh, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Look, I don't have much time. But you look so healthy. What I want to know is, what could possibly go wrong with my husband's plan? The green and friendly pressure group know nothing. No endangered wildlife can close down this site. Endangered wildlife, eh? No, not this time. We can dig all we want. Thank you. That's all I needed to know. Honey, you've come visit. Turn around, darling, and give your hubby a big, smoochy, wet kiss. Uh, uh. Don't keep me waiting now. <laughs> wow, that was. Give me back that certificate. Kid, but I win again. Really big laugh, guys. <laughs> and then he threw me out. Your own home as well, then. Huh? <laughs> Until I sold it. <laughs> Sorry, then. What do we do now? The Green and Friendly Pressure Group. Who? They are the only people who have ever stopped Katzenberger. You told them about the Green and Friendly Pressure Group? Well done. Can it? This is one oil strike that they are powerless to stop. There are no endangered species here, except you guys. <laughs> 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 
meet our endangered species. But Nasha isn't endangered. Uh, you don't mean me, do you, Dan? Yeah, of course not. Show them, Nasha. Just like we practice, lads. Save our home! Save our home! We need a dog and he needs his garden! The rare and soon-to-be-endangered Abyssinian tripound flea. Oh! Nasha and I will get the fleas into our front garden. If things go well, Katzenberger will soon be the endangered one. Good luck, then. We'll meet you at the front of your house. says that I make a mess. Fifty barrels of oil and it's only Monday. Load up the truck. Right, Mr Katzenberger, sir. Have you found out how good the oil is yet? We're still trying to thin it out. I've never seen anything like it. Time to get our house back. We want something to protect us. We want something... Hello, green and friendly. Have I got a cause for you? We want something to protest about. Crack on with the marker pens. We've got a hot one. Yay! Time to act our age, Nasha. Familiar, like that stupid family's coffee. Uh, who's that? Save the tripod, please, please. Save the tripod. Save the what? Show him, Nasha. Prepare for the protest. Protect the fleas. Protect them with this! <laughs> Oil Baron attacks endangered fleas! Ah, ah. Give it back, lads! At the double! <laughs> Please attack Oil Baron! Ooh. Yes! Give me three, Nasha! <laughs> Start the truck! Man the defences! Yes, sir! Has the whole town gone mad? <laughs> what do I care? I have my oil! I've completed the test, sir! It isn't oil! What? What? There must have been a leak under the house. It's dirty, incredibly dirty, bath water! Whoops! <laughs> dirty bath water? But my executives told me... And that Katzenberger saved me a fortune in plumbing bills by cleaning it all out for us. And the green and friendly pressure group. 
shall restore your garden to its former beauty. Oh, thank you. That's... Uh, that's... Uh, very friendly of you. Yes! My certificate. Fetch a hammer and nail, Natcher. We're back where we started. Having a bath could be more trouble than it's worth, eh, Nasha? Children? Are you having a problem, Mr. Dust? Uh, no more than usual, Miss Goodspoon. Can I help? Um, if you tread lightly on my shoulder, uh, that might help. Enough fooling around for one day, especially today. For today is Careers Day. Oh. And our first speaker is Sergeant Slipper. Good morning, all. Police work is all about coping with the uh, unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. I knew this was a mistake. And that was how I saved a little cat from the tree. Uh, and now I'll show you how to use handcuffs. Handcuffs? I will need a volunteer. Oh, me! Me! Yeah, uh, Dennis. Uh, very well, lad. Now then, I know this is difficult. But imagine I am the baddie and uh, you are a policeman. Now, handcuff me to the radiator. My pleasure. <laughs> I'm sure Dennis didn't mean to throw the key out of the window, Sergeant. <laughs> now then, after that unfortunate <clears throat> accident, we have another speaker who's going to tell you about his life in the army. Please welcome the Colonel. Oh, no! Jolly good, at ease. Now, the first campaign I fought in was the Norman Invasion. So called because they came from Normandy. No, so called because they were all called Norman. Hundreds of them. Oh. There we were, surrounded by Normans. The Normans raised their heads above the trenches uh, and lit fire. Fire! Sound of retreat! A vast immunous dogs! Huh? Billy, this Tom Fullery, I'll have you clapped in irons. Is this fella for real? Um. Uh, th th this is uh, Captain Trout, uh, who is going to talk about uh, <clears throat> life at sea. Boring! And there I was, with Captain Prefab, facing Dopey Mick, the daftest whale of the Seven Seas. What happened next? <sighs> Dopey Mick opened his mouth and gave us a blast of his legendary bad breath. <sighs> Prefab was overcome by the smell uh. and toppled into the sea. Uh. Then what? Then what? Dopey Mick gobbled him up and he was never seen again. Wow! Aye, and here's the rub, mateys. Captain Prefab 
was my father! Wow! Thank you, uh, Captain Trout. <laughs> I'm sailing again in the dawn tide. Who's coming with me? Me, 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 me! me. me. Oh, oh, please, please, me. please! I'm entering the race of the year. A race round the Cape of No Hope. Me! 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 me. 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 Jolly Roger, eye patch, telescope, and that's it. <laughs> oh, and not forgetting the ship's dog. <laughs> oh, Dennis, don't forget your hairbrush. I won't, Mum. I'll be sure to send it a postcard. <laughs> wow! What a boat! Hi there, mateys! Come on up! That's the way! Look lively now! Straight ahead! <laughs> <laughs> There she blows, boys. The finest little vessel that ever sailed the seas. Welcome aboard the SS Rust Bucket. I'll show you where you'll be working. Uh, just one thing, Captain. Where are all the crew? Why, lads, didn't I tell you? You're the crew. <gasps> and this is your first job. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Time to review the situation. One, we're stuck on an old tub that could fall apart any minute. Two, the captain's completely bananas! At least we got lots of spuds to peel. Pie face! Cooey! <laughs> Hello! Hello. I say, get that old heap out of the way. The race begins in a minute, and we want to get a good start. Is that your boat, then? Actually, it belongs to my daddy. Super, isn't it? Calling, Calling all, all contestants, contestants. The, the race, race will start, start in five, five minutes. minutes. Come on, Walter. We'd better get ready. Bye, losers. Right! It's war! We'll beat Walter and Matilda if it's the last thing we do! Hang on, Dennis! Who's we? This is Captain Trout's boat! Yeah! And what about all those potatoes? Don't worry! I've got a plan! Nash Up and nash <laughs> Now, we'll give Captain Trout the sack. Yo ho ho and a bottle of pop. I've asked me hearties, I'm an old sea dog. Right, the trap is set. Captain Trout, the potatoes are peeled, ready for inspection. Ready for inspection, eh? They better be ship ship. We're setting sail for the Spanish Bay. OK, he's coming. Open back again. Right, you lovers, where are you skulking? Right, that's fixed the captain. Now to win the race. Come on, we've got to get this old tub started. You regret this. I'll have you caught, Marshal. Contestants, start your engines. Water. This wave is going to be a walkover. Countdown to 
to the start. Ten, nine, eight. <laughs> Whoa! No good. We need more leverage. I've got an idea. Follow me. Five, four, three, two, one. Geronimo! That's all we have to eat. Hmm. Those cucumber sandwiches were divine, Matilda. Jolly good idea to stop for tea. We might as well take it easy, Walter. No one's got a hope of winning against us. Especially Dennis and his crew. Exactly. Now, if you're ready, we'll take the lead. for winning the wave. <laughs> if they think they're going to win, they've got another thing coming. What can we do? Hmm. Yes! The potato gun treatment. What uses a potato gun against a 60-foot boat? Curly, trust me. And go and get all the potatoes that Pie Face hasn't eaten. You wit. You'll regret you have a mess with Captain Truth. <laughs> right. Now we'll fix those two. Yo! Walter! Matilda! You won't fries with that! Time for your main course! The engine stopped. <laughs> now we'll see who's going to win the race. Wait. Water, is it my imagination or can you smell French wine? Hey! Need a tow? <laughs> Certainly not. We've simply had a minor breakdown. Major fry up more like it. Hey! Anyway, Russ Bucket to the rescue! Avast! Avast! Avast what? I don't know, but it's really big. Well, whatever it is, it's going to be around here somewhere. <laughs> it's a whale! It's got bad breath. And it looks dopey. Aye! Tis the legendary Dopey Mick. <gasps> the daftest whale of the sea. Uh-oh. Ah! Uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. <laughs> Cap 
Captain, look, about us locking you up, it was a joke. Belay the apologies, lad. Everything's different now. We've sighted Dopey Mick. <laughs> now I can find out what Dopey Mick did with my old dad. Are you sure this'll work, lad? Course. Nasha can sniff out my old socks from miles away. The way that whale smells, he'll soon find it. <laughs> there you go, Nasha. Shove your schnozzle in the nozzle. I think he's found him. Which way, Nasha? Aha! Dopey Mike! Full steam ahead! We're getting close! Very close! There he flows! After him! Full speed ahead! Ha-ha! <laughs> We've got him on the run! Dopey Mike, we'll catch you yet! <laughs> Problem. Ah! Full speed us down! Oh! Ah! of SOS calls, haven't we, Matilda? Yes. We've been stuck in this horrible old whale for ages. And it jolly well smells. Oh, you can oh, say that. Come on, then, Walter. Give us some of those clothes pegs. No. We've only got two. You're going to have to help us spring clean. Spring clean? What do you mean? The right lads. We could be here for a while, and it smells like the inside of a bosun's welly. Let's get to it. You too, Dennis. This is no time for slacking. This is worse than being at home. <laughs> Hold hard. What have we here? Ah, 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 shoot! Ah. Oh, what do you think you're playing at? Raising all this dust? Well, I'll be... It's taken me 25 years, but I've finally found you! Captain Prefab! Dad! Can it be? It can't be! It is our son! Oh, oh, Daddy! Daddy! Oh, Give us a cuddle! Oh, oh, and a day of my life. This is the greatest day of my life, mateys. My old dad found after all these years, and it's all thanks to you. Oh, it was nothing, was it, lads? No, no it's no, nothing. nothing. No, no, don't, don't mention it. it. All very touching, but we're still stuck inside a whale in the middle of the sea. Yes. And I told my mummy that as soon as the waste was over, I'd be home for supper. Shiver my timbers! The race! Of course! We've got to get out of here! There's no way out, son. Believe me, I've been here 25 years. <laughs> you know, Captain Prefab, you've given me an idea. Okay, everybody, hold tight! Yes. <laughs>
monkeys. the race, Nasha. <laughs> and I'll tell you something else. I bet this is the first shipwreck they've ever had in the Beano Town swimming baths. Is how I lost my tooth. But don't worry, I found it again. Oh, and there's me thinking you'd been to the dentist. I think Dennis's explanation is much more imaginative. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, Dennis. Put it under your pillow tonight for the tooth fairies. <laughs> oh, I'm too old to believe in fairies. They leave you money, Dennis. Oh, yeah. I believe in fairies! Did my ears deceive me? Or do I now have the most wonderful piece of gossip for school on Monday? Oh, no! Oh, joy! Dennis still believes in fairies! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Roll on Monday morning! Thanks, Dad! <laughs> Tooth fairies. I just know it's Dad. And tonight, we'll catch him in the act. <laughs> Good. It works. <laughs> we mustn't go to sleep, Nasha. <laughs> What's that? Nasha, wake up. We fell asleep. I hope. Oh no! Nasha, look! Gone! The tooth's gone! And no money! Maybe my tooth slipped under the sheets. It must be here somewhere. Let's check the pillow again. Where's the top of the bed gone, Nasha? <coughs> I'm sure it was this way. It has to be, because it smells of feet that way. Huh? Don't panic, Nasha. But I think we're lost! Oh, no! Don't die on us! Don't... Look! Light! That must be the head of the bed! Um, what, what are, are you, you doing, doing in my, my bed? bed? Something weird is going on, Pie Face. I don't like this den. I'm getting out. <laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> come on, let's find out. Hey, come back with my light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a little man. Come on, let's get him. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, you toothy! Huh? It's like in a bed, only outside. 
<laughs> Look, that's him, the little man. Red leader calling, follow me. to base. Bring in prisoners. Over. <laughs> we call these three goblins in area Quilt Patch Zero, Your Majesty, and these two are in disguise. Hey. I'm not a goblin, I'm Dennis, and my tooth has been stolen, and I demand my money. What? He's goblin height, he's rude, and he smells like trouble. Do you want me to check him for goblin warts? Oi, get off! Don't bother. I know a real kid when I see one. I am the Fairy Queen, and you have entered a war zone, Sonny. We are the Fairy Freedom Fighters, and we need all the help we can get. Blue Squadron couldn't get through to the children. The kiddies will wake up in the morning with teeth still under their pillows. <gasps> Sorry, ma'am. Carry on trying, Blue Leader. A question I've always wanted to ask. Why do tooth fairies go for teeth in the first place? Leaving coins under pillows is the only way we can prove to children that we exist. And if a kid says, I don't believe in fairies, then... One of us is fairy dust. What can we do to help? They're ugly enough to pass for goblins, Your Majesty. That's a bunch. Let's use them as spies. Yeah, yeah. Can't we go home instead? All the portals to the real world are now blocked by goblins. To get home, you have to help us. <laughs> Sounds exciting. OK, we'll do it. Goblin attack. Goblin attack. Goblin attack. Goblin attack. Here are your disguises. Goblins are incredibly stupid. And by the way, they do anything they're told. Except by a fairy. You must find out who their new leader is. And why he's doing this to us. They'll never go for this. Attack! <laughs> They've got fly swatters. Good luck, Dennis. Our very existence depends on you. You know, on days like this, it's almost worth starting a diary. Stop running around, my horde of giggling goblins! We have work to do! Try to blend in. OK. Morning. Ow! <laughs> I said stop fooling about! Carry on searching for the teeth! No! Let's carry on hitting each other! Nasha, he's the one who stole my tooth. I got the tooth. It was under the kid's pillow, just like you said. You have done well. My tooth. I knew Dennis wouldn't let me down. Thanks to him, I now have the very thing to track down the tooth fairies. A tooth! Ooh. He, he found, found the tooth. tooth! Bring in the tooth hound. It takes a tooth to find a tooth fairy. <laughs> See, it's tracking already. He can't do that. Not with my tooth. And when I find the fairies, I'll find... The gold! The gold! Gold? 
No! We find something far more valuable than gold! Uranium alloy? No! My baby teeth! He's lost it, Nasha. The fairies took them when I was just a child! My itty little baby teeth! And what did they give me in return? <laughs> That's right! Mere pennies! Well, I'm going to get my teeth back! Hooray! And we'll find out the answer to the biggest question of all. What do the fairies do with all those teeth anyway? Ooh! Find the teeth! Find the teeth! Find the teeth! Time to get my tooth back and warn the fairies! What? You know the kid I took the tooth from? Yes. He's coming at ya! Dennis! Walter! <coughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <coughs> Get this spy! <coughs> he is not one of us! A movie nose! A movie nose! Magic! Okay. I want my teeth back! Tell it to the tooth fairies! No! <gasps> my face! Go on without me then! I'm on top of things! We'll be back for you! Oh, it's too big a drop! We need the ladder! Uh-oh! <laughs> when in doubt... Jump! This place is made of bed clothes, so let's hope the ground is well sprung! <laughs> ah, don't look now, but... No. <laughs> Help! Whew! Am I glad to see you, Red Leader? Bring back my baby teeth, Dennis! Or we keep Pie Face here forever! So, it is all the doing of this boy, Walter. Yes, and he's using my tooth against you. Thump, thump, thump. Walter's tooth hound is using my tooth to sniff you out. I get the idea. And he's holding our friend hostage. Still under the pillow. Children in zone four. Teeth still under the pillow. Are you ready? Ready! You are now honorary fairy freedom fighters. Children in time zone five. Teeth still under the pillows. We must get to the children before they stop believing or we're all done for. Let's go catch Walter! <laughs> Queen to Dennis. Good luck with your plan. We'll pull back and wait for your signal. Over. Wilco, over and out. Have you brought back my baby teeth? Show me pie face first. And I want my tooth back as well. The fairies! It's a double cross! Now! Now! That mutt's no match for us, Walter! We can fly! And that's just what I want you all to do! 
sticky flypaper. Repeat, they're using sticky flypaper. <laughs> wasn't my plan at all. One, five, eight! Whoa! Again! Again! <laughs> Tell me where my baby teeth are or you'll decorate my wall forever and a day! We never took your baby teeth. Of course you did. You're a tooth fairy. Shame there isn't a toenail fairy. I'd make a fortune. <laughs> You'll get nothing from us except name, rank and cereal preference. Goblins! Your leader is not a goblin. He's just a boy. Yes, yes a boy. boy. Seize him! OK. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. Turn around and seize him right back again. <laughs> oh, yes, he is. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. Time's a million. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, he is. Time's 50 million squillion. <laughs> teeth back. We've told you already, Walter. We don't have your teeth. Did you make a castle out of all the teeth? Ugh! How disgusting. Live inside teeth? I know, I know. You make little piano keys for tiny gnome-sized pianos. And yeah, listen, listen, and the black keys are all the rotten teeth. Not exactly. I'll show you. Hold out your tooth, Dennis. When a fairy touches a tooth, it turns into a coin. That is why we don't have your teeth, Walter. You spent them years ago. I appear to have made a number of minor errors of judgment. I would like to be taken back to my bed now. Oh dear. I enjoy being a leader in everything except a chase. Come back. Go. What gold! Thank you, Dennis. You and your friends have saved our land. To us, you will always be a fairy freedom fighter. We'll 
We'll drop you off at home as we visit the children in your time zone. Bye! Bye, Big Red! Phew! What a night! Saved a kingdom! Wow! That was the best dream I've ever had! Nasha? Nasha? Wait till you hear about my dream! Hey, 